figured I'd go ahead and go over my winter kind of daily routine. Just kicked my shoes off, getting ready to step into my muck boots. And I'm going to grab this bag off the floor that has some rabbit water in it. And this cup of cat food for midnight. That is a stray cat someone dumped here a couple weeks ago. Guarantee you she's already out here. So this is midnight. Midnight, you gotta move. I know you think you're starving, but really you're not. Hmm, I just built cat food all over the place. She's had worms or something since she come here. And I've been trying to get her straightened out with Diamaticus Earth. Which will work, it just takes longer. So about every two or three days I put DE in her food. Should start snowing here, literally, any, any minute I think it's supposed to start. First we go down to the rabbits, with all the goats over there and the chickens. So another reason why I'm doing this is every year in the winter, you start seeing a bunch of posts. Uh, people asking how you water your animals in the winter time in northern states without it freezing up. So what I do, there's a set, a set of watering jugs there, and a set here. And if you notice these, this one over here is frozen up, I think, partially frozen. This one's not. And that one's empty. All I really do is I just swap them out. Which is kind of hard to do one handed. These are the ones I just brought from the house. She's like, oh my gosh. So, I did this this morning too. I do this in the morning and the evening. And sometimes they freeze up during the day. Sometimes they don't. It's been pretty cold today. So they're going to be froze up. Whoops. <clears throat> why people I don't know why people overcomplicate matters it's not too hard to figure out if you got two different watering systems and one freezes up you always have another one that's not froze up so there they are taking care of the water check the food he needs food needs food needs food I got these totes for the rabbits. Inside the totes are food and a scooper that has the correct amount of food they need.
Then it's just to put the watering jugs inside the bag, take them up to the house, take them inside so they are unthawed for in the morning. Easy peasy. You guys are not going to believe how big this goat is. Like, she is really, I'm surprised. Um, usually I go ahead and run this inside, but since I'm recording, I'm just going to set the back on the ground. And then I'll pick it up on the way back up here. Alright. Next, on to the chickens. I do the same thing, slightly different. Right there is an entrance to my basement of my house. And it always stays about 40 degrees in there. It's an unheated basement. So I come down here. And I look into the chickens. Is your water frozen up? And it looks like it is. And outside the chicken coop, there's a trash can. Guess what's inside the trash can? If you guessed food, you guessed correctly. Now, how I'm going to do this one-handed, I don't know. Like this, I think. basically have an old coffee creamer container that I put their food in. <laughs> yeah boy. And here's a trick for roosters. Throw you some feet on the ground like I just did. That'll keep the roosters occupied. Oops, I can't do that yet. So I'll go in here and add the food and bring out the watering pail without fear usually of the rooster attacking me which is that guy hey buddy uh, uh, uh. you better not square up with me like that you know I'll kick the crap out of you you can get an attitude sometimes he knows they need water though so he ain't going to As you can see, their water's frozen up. So we'll set this out up here. And then I'll carry it up and get the one that's not frozen. And probably have to add some water to it. How you keep animals out, bungee cord, hooks into the handles, runs through this top, they can't push the lid up. Go ahead and check to see if they left any eggs. They finally started laying eggs again after a break. Three eggs. Never going to complain about three eggs in the winter time. Again, sorry, this has kind of been like really poor footage because this is all hard to do one handed. <laughs> 
Why one-handed? I'm not handicapped. There's my good hand. The other hand's holding the camera. All right, over here we got goats. We got pregnant goats and the male goat there. Male goat, one female just walked out. Go over here. What are you lumping for? How come you're so huge? Uh, how come you didn't have that kid yet? Or actually, I'm thinking that's probably kids. Uh, man, you are huge. Girl. You are huge. When are you going to have those? You are way overdue. Another female. Another female. Two more females. The male being a typical male. Alright. Guys need to move. They tried to get in here, so I had to do this. They'll push on the door until it opens. So I put this uh, carabiner on there. Works great. Keeps them out. And it does actually close all the way. Um, here's something kind of new though. I put this rope system up where to feed the male goat, I just pull on the rope and his food container is inside there. I always do the females first, even though the male will be out there. Again, doing this one handed, probably going to spill food everywhere. Uh, recycled coffee container, recycled creamer container. They're going to start wondering why it's taking so long. They usually don't take any of this on. They're like, we're getting impatient. We're getting impatient. But yeah, these make great ways to feed your animals. I use them often. I Boy. Their water grows up. Sometimes it's just the top layer, and I can kick it and break it. And if that does, if that works, that's what I'll do. Because it's just going to freeze up again, but nope, that's pretty solid. This one over here is not so solid. Now to feed this side is the same way. The goat ones have the two water bottle or the two water five gallon water buckets and I alternate them instead of switch them out. So I filled one up this morning which is the one that wasn't froze solid and then I'll take the one that's froze solid now so this is how this works um, I'll take the one that's froze solid dump it out carry it up 
with a chicken one when I swap it out and I'll fill them both up and carry them down um so this is how this works see I got this board across here and I have this temporary male goat bedding over here and you simply unhook it and pull and now I got to switch hands kind of hard to do one-handed hook the rope on the clip now it holds the lid up and all oh, look where's my food where's my food grab the food extend it out over and dump it in Just like that. Then we let this back down. And hook it back on. Just like that. So I had to do this back when I got cancer because I literally couldn't lift this top board. <laughs> That's how weak I got. Then if you see right there in that straw, that is where midnight the black cat sleeps at night. She will not come inside. She is not an indoor cat. She likes it out here with the animals. So all I got to do now is put this back on here and the goats can't force their way into the goat barn and have a free for all on all the food. They can still push up against the door and it'll open but it'll never go past that. Alright. There's the one I dumped out this morning out of this bucket. Now I'm going to dump this one out. See? So I'll fill up that one when I do the chicken one. This still has ice in it. But I've got one up here that should be unthawed. This one right here, matter of fact. Not totally unthawed, but it will be here in a minute. More unthawed than the other one. Plus, I'll need cleaned out anyways. Keep the hose right here. Go turn it on. Sprayed out.
Doesn't really do any good to fill them up all the way because they're just going to freeze. Get this one cleaned up. Got some chicken poop in it. Always rinse them twice. The first one gets the bulk, the second one gets the rest. Shut this water off. Bring the hook. Just about fell. Let the water out of the hose. So it don't freeze up. At least some of it. Bring this one inside so it unthaws. Actually trying to see if I can take the top off. I can't so it's froze up. So it'll unthaw enough for me to get the top off like that other one did. Um, putting this on one handed ought to be a blast. Not too bad. Find out where the drain is at. Grab the chain. We're off. Normally I would carry both the goat and the chicken at the same time, but since I got the phone in the other hand, we gotta do us one at a time. Look, they're down here like, where's our water, Ed? Buck, 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 buck. Buck, 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 buck. It's not very easy one handed. <laughs> Do it again. How'd that feel, sucker? You want some more? Huh? So that's what I meant by rooster attacking you. If you don't think him spurs hurt, I can show you all the scars on my legs. Make sure they're locked up. By the way, that rooster's perfectly fine. We have to go through this about once every now and then where I'll be in there and he'll attack me. And I kick the crap out of him and then he don't try to attack me anymore for a long time after that. But I knew when I first stepped in there earlier and he squared up to me, he was in one of his moods. And we was going to have it out. You're going to stay over away from me now, aren't you? Now we go up and get the goats. I 
water and carry it down. Now they're good for in the morning too. Y'all done? You guys good over there? Buck, 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 buck. Now the rooster's mad and he's taking it out on the hens. I can shut the camera off. Why are you limping for? Huh? What are you limping for? You're so fat. You need to have them. You need to have them babies. Just gate locked, one-handed. When are you gonna have those kids? Huh? Why don't you come here and see me? Come on. Come on. Man, look how fat you are. What happened to your leg? It's probably sore because you're having to walk on it. Uh, won't you just go ahead and have any kids tonight and you'll feel a lot better tomorrow yeah you got to be miserable let me show these people how wide you are Look how wide she is on this side over here see it if she'll stand really still, see her biting at her belly? That's what she does. She's kind of like, she feels a moving. I'd show you the other ways that you can tell that she's pregnant and about to have them any minute. But it gets kind of disgusting. See how wide she is now looking down this way? See her sticking out on the side, a big lump right there. If y'all hold still, you'll see him move. I'll sit here and pet her and we'll see. I know that's got to be un wholly uncomfortable. <laughs> You've been fighting it all week. I know you're ready. Your ligaments and your tail are softened. Your vulva is ready. Red and swollen. You're just gonna fight it till the contractions come, aren't you? Huh? Mm. Have you dropped yet? <clears throat> You're fighting that too. All right, I got to get inside. Bye. So, as always, folks, I know there's a lot of bad footage in this, and I'll have to probably edit some of that out. As always, though, thanks for watching. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads. 
still mad at me? Huh? You still mad at me? Hey. Hey. <clears throat> yeah, don't you act like you don't hear me over here. That's what he does. He got his butt kicked. Now he's ashamed in front of his women. You know better. <laughs>